This inducer fan motor is common to many different furnaces. And this is the squirrel cage side. Uh, and this is the bearing that is subject to the most heat. And that is the bearing that gave out and was making all the squealing noise. I don't know without the squirrel cage if we can duplicate that now, but uh, you can definitely hear. So, you can get one of these from your wholesaler, uh, $55, $65. And today I'm going to show you how to replace the bearings uh, for about uh, $6. So, we're going to take out these two screws here. So, this is the front bearing that's subject to the most heat and you can see we give a spin on the back bearing which is still mounted in there which I will leave it's still in very good shape so we're not going to bother replacing that one that one's next to the cooling fan for the whole motor so that one's in pretty good shape this is a uh, 608 sealed on two-sided bearing right here you can get these on Amazon, eBay, different places depending on what you pay you get a different quality of bearing you don't want to go too cheap on these and I'll provide a link below uh, where I bought my bearings so we will use this bearing puller to take the bearing off of the shaft. So we'll add just a little bit of lubricant. That's working real nice. So this is the new bearing and it was uh, not making a real tight fit. Um, there's different ways to go about it. You could weld this up, put it on a lathe, uh, turn it back down to spec for the bearing. That's a lot of work. So what I've decided to do here is just add a uh, couple of center punches around because um, it's, it's a pretty close fit. Uh, this is just a push punch. There's not a lot of stress on this bearing on an inducer fan motor. Okay, and now we're at a place where it won't just slide across and we'll have to uh, tap that down in place. So now it's uh, got the bearing back on, it's good and snug, and uh, we just reassemble. Okay, so uh, new bearings in place, and we remember how it was loud before, even though I couldn't get it to squeal as loud as it was in service. Um, let's see how it is now.
Just a nice little hum of the motor. You can't hear uh, any more squealing coming out of it.